Welcome to this week's edition of the Weightlifting Platform, a clearinghouse of information in the international weightlifting world, brought to you by the Pan American Weightlifting Federation. I'm your host, Richard Mason. On this week's show, celebrating international women, we'll talk with three female leaders in weightlifting in the Pan American region about their paths, what's been accomplished, and the work that remains. We'll check in with Australia's Eileen Sikamatana for our tip of the week, and we'll also have our regular feature, Did You Know? But first, here are the headlines. The International Weightlifting Federation is setting out a timeline for constitutional reform and elections. The IWF Executive Board has circulated to all the member countries the proposed changes to the Constitution. The national bodies will have until the end of this month to make comments before the final draft is expected to be presented. A conference will be held in June to vote on the new Constitution. Elections for the new board positions are tentatively scheduled for October. No word yet from the International Olympic Committee, which has been lobbying for reform in a timely manner, if this meets their standards. Still with the IWF, the Olympic Committee has accepted an amended qualification calendar for the Olympics in Tokyo. Junior World Championships in Saudi Arabia, the East Asian Championships in Republic of Korea, and the South American, Ibero-American and Open Senior Championships in Cali, Colombia can all be used as qualifiers. The Canadian Weightlifting Federation has launched a new website. It can be found at weightliftingcanada.ca. And the Weightlifting Federation of the United States has just wrapped up their first hybrid competition. Athletes, officials, and coaches were given the option of gathering at the Maverick Center in Salt Lake City or lifting from their home gyms in the North American Open and National University Championships. Athletes either lifted on the stage or on their computers at the gym, shown on the big screen over top of the stage. That is today's headlines. In our Good to Know segment, this episode of the Weightlifting Platform is for the week with International Women's Day. Did you know that the first World Weightlifting Championships for Women was held in Daytona Beach, USA, back in 1987. And from that point until 2000, the women's championships were held separate from the men's. Of course you knew that. But did you know between 1988 and 2000, the women held three championships in years that there was no men's championship. In 1988, 1992, and 1996, the strongest women in the world gathered for a separate championship. The strongest men competed at the Olympics those years. Women were included in the Sydney 2000 Olympics and every Olympics since. Now, it's time to talk. Joining us now are three women from different areas of expertise, but all of them strong leaders in weightlifting. Doris Marrero is a top-level referee with many international competitions in her book. Rosanna Vargas is the chair of the medical committee of the Pan American Weightlifting Federation and ready to help whenever a hurt athlete shows up on the platform. And Yunuska Espinosa is a plus-size athlete who I first saw lift in 2013 in Isla Margarita at the Pan Am Championships, but she's been competing internationally for a decade and a half. Welcome, ladies. Now, Roxanne is offering to help me with Doris and Yunuska, as my Spanish language skills are not that good. So we'll start with a simple question. Uh, let's start with, uh, well, you can decide, Roxana. Uh, tell me your story. How did you begin in weightlifting? Who do you like? Could you phrase that to the ladies? Okay, so I will start with my story. Um, it started when I was very little. My dad uh, was the president of the Dominican Weightlifting Federation, and I have to share my time with 
with the weightlifting, so I decided to join. Since I was a very little girl, she took me, he took me there, and I just fell in love with the techniques, with the effort, and with everything. So since um, when I was like, in 1996, I have the opportunity to um, practice the sport with William Osuna was my coach that he is right now the um, president of the um, Dominican Weightlifting Federation. Uh, here's my dad and his, um, and that's why I'm here in this sport and I love it so much. Uh, and I became to be a doctor of the federation in 2009 and well to uh, try to be a clean sport with my athletes and since then, in 2016, I uh, started being a member for the um, medical committee for the Pan American Weightlifting, and now I am the um, president of the committee uh, of the medical committee of the Pan American, and also a member for a medical committee for, for uh, the International uh, Weightlifting Federation. That's my story. Hola, soy Doris Marrero de Venezuela, árbitro internacional de primera, donde he representado a mi país con mucho orgullo, por ser parte de todo, donde mi país nos han dado oportunidad a las mujeres, tenemos una igualdad de género. He comenzado la trayectoria del levantamiento de pesas en 1985, donde fui profesora de educación física graduada y comencé en atletismo, después en potencia, después me enamoraron con el levantamiento de pesa olímpico, pero las mujeres no podíamos participar, entonces me puse a hacer un curso de árbitro que lo dio Benito Ceja en ese momento. Y bueno, hasta los momentos soy juez árbitro, donde he quemado las etapas de árbitro 1, de nacional, internacional, de, de gerencia, gerencia deportiva, estoy de dirigente actualmente, estoy cubriendo la parte de vicepresidenta de la suramericana, la segunda presidenta de la suramericana, y bueno, orgullosa primero de ser venezolana, formar parte del equipo de la suramericana, y, y esta gran unidad que es la Federación Panamericana. Muchas gracias. Hola, este, un placer, gracias por la invitación. Bueno, este, tengo 35 años, eh, a los 8 años empecé, empecé a practicar deporte, eh, la disciplina de, de atletismo, pero luego a los 15 años fui un día al médico y resulta que en el consultorio al lado estaba el gimnasio de pesas y me, me encantó, me gustó mucho. Y desde ese día decidí cambiarme de, de deporte, dejar atrás tantos años en, el, en, el, en la pista y, e irme a un gimnasio. Y desde ese día, bueno, quedé enamorada, me encantó y al año siguiente ya era selección nacional, hasta, hasta el sol de hoy, como decimos aquí, bueno, representando a mi país. Este, hasta los momentos soy una de las, soy la atleta que lleva más ciclos olímpicos eh, de la selección y más años siendo atleta activa de, de la selección. Now, uh, how do we, uh, what are the biggest gains that you have seen for women in your weightlifting career? What is the biggest progress we've seen? For me, the biggest progress is that how the women integrate into this sport. It's like the body and their mind. It um, for it was made for this sport, and and how women are coming more and more integrating. And at least in my country, there are more um, female athletes than males, and how they are. Um, encourage themselves how the, how they the passion for this sport that it was uh, at the beginning it was for men and now it's for women and and men and how they uh, break the records uh, I, I think it's amazing uh, and we're still gonna be growing and growing because we are part of it and we love it 
Now, can you ask Doris and Yunuska the same question? Uh, where's the biggest progress they've seen for women? Sure. Eh, Doris, en tu opinión, eh, ¿cuáles son los mayores éxitos que han llevado a cabo las mujeres eh, durante el trayecto de la durante el trayecto de la alterofilia, la disciplina? Este, bueno, uno de los es que la mujer, la mujer venezolana y la mujer mundial está participando en el levantamiento de pesas donde era un mundo completamente de para hombres, donde no permitían que la mujer trabaje, porque tan sí que yo fui para, el, para los, Juegos los Juegos Panamericanos y del Caribe en Puerto Rico y no me permitieron laborar, sino casi las últimas jornadas por ser mujer. Ahorita la mujer está al mismo, al mismo nivel que el hombre y trabaja en la misma condición, tanto que las atletas también tienen el mismo número de participación, igual que los hombres. Bueno, este, yo creo que el mayor logro que ha tenido la mujer deportista en estos momentos es demostrar que podemos desarrollarnos como atletas, como profesionales, como madres, y hacer todo al mismo tiempo. Este, podemos participar en eventos internacionales, yo tengo por lo menos mis tres hijos ya tan grandes, son unos adolescentes, y aquí estoy todavía, pues este, estoy, estoy activa, eh, he podido estudiar, he podido desarrollarme como, como mujer, aparte de atleta, como madre y como una profesional, entonces eso, eso se, se ve en este momento mucho, pues, porque ya la mujer no solamente se ha quedado en su casa, ya la mujer ha salido a, a demostrar que, que sí, que sí podemos, que sí podemos realizar todo lo que, lo que queramos, lo que nos proponemos, al igual que, que el hombre, bueno, estamos siendo dignificadas a nivel mundial. Gracias. If we can, just very briefly, uh, thank you. Uh, if we can, very briefly, just is there any, what do we need to do to still help women in sport? What's the next step, if you can, very briefly, though? Okay. Uh, well, I think that we need more investigations uh, towards uh, the complex of the women integrated in the sport so they can have a better performance because now all the story are based in men, in men, uh, uh, issues and we need more to embrace more to integrate in studies so we can help them to get better. And and can you phrase that to Doris? Can you use the question? Doris, ¿dónde crees que habría que hacer más hincapié para ayudar a la mujer en este deporte? Para que qué se podría hacer? Eh, breve, en breves palabras. Bueno. Sí, es un sueño, es un sueño que quisiera, porque ya, ya la mujer ya tuvo unos, algunos cargos como presidenta de federaciones, pero me gustaría ver una mujer en la IWF representándonos como presidenta. Sí, bueno, exactamente pensaba responder lo mismo que, que la profesora Dori. Pero de verdad, ahorita en estos momentos, yo creo que eso es lo único que, que nos faltaría. Una presidenta de la, de la IWF, que bueno, eso no se ve muy lejano. A lo mejor en las próximas elecciones tendremos alguna. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you, Doris. Thank you, Yunuska. We very much appreciate you, uh, you helping us out today. We're going to ask Roxana, though, to stick around for On sure. the Clock. Roxana, what we're going to do now is we're going to put up a one-minute clock and ask you questions to get to know you better. Now, some of them are weightlifting related, some are not. Here we go. Ready? In three, two, one. What's the biggest weight you've ever lifted? Um, not much, like 50. Not much. Okay. Uh, who is, in your opinion, the best lifter you've ever seen compete? 
Well, for me, it was in 2003, uh, one of my athletes in my country, uh, she got a uh, gold medal, and it, everybody in my country was cheering at the same time, and that was Wanda Rijo that made that in 2003 in a Pan American game. And that impacted Now, what's your favorite her. song to hear? Sorry. What's your favorite song to hear in the gym? In the gym, do you know the Rocky Balboa one that it tan, 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 <laughs> tan, 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 that one, the idol of the tiger. Do you have a, yeah, do you have a hobby outside of weightlifting? Um, yes, I have a hobby and it's uh, to do in art craft. I like to paint, Fantastic. I like to swear. What wonderful. We'll have to see some of your work. We're out of time. Thank you very much for taking the time to join us. We very much appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now it's time for the tip of the week. With this week's tip from Australia's national weightlifting team, with a look at the snatch, here's Eileen Sikamatana. Hello guys from the weightlifting platform by Pan America. I am Aileen Digmatana. I am an weight, Australian weightlifter. I compete in the 81 kg and the 87 kg category. My best match is 121 kg and my best clean and jerk is 156 kg. And my tip for today is how to do a snatch lift. As you get ready, you lay your hands out on the bar. As you adjust yourself, try and grip the bar as it's wider grip, wider than the clean and jerk grip. In my case, I use the line that's provided by the bar as my guide, and that's how I usually do my snatches. When I train for snatch, I normally do a straight leg power snatch as a first rep, and then a power snatch as a second rep, and then lastly is a squat snatches. Now I'll show you from a different angle. And now from a different angle so you can see the position and how straight my back is when I take off from the ground lifting the bar. As usual, this is the first one as I used to do, which is a straight leg power snatch. And then the second one, which is a power snatch. And then lastly is a squat snatch. Always remember to keep your arms straight for full extension and keep your back straight for better positioning. And that is all my tip for the week. Thank you. Somebody's got a career in coaching after she's done lifting by the sounds of those instructions. Thanks, Eileen. That's this week's International Women's Edition of the Weightlifting Platform, brought to you by the Pan American Weightlifting Federation. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you see, please bookmark us here on YouTube. You can also like the IWF on Facebook, tweet out to the IWF at IWFnet on Twitter. I'm Richard Mason. Good lifting.